Are you building conversational experience but would like to cut down your design and deployment time? Stick around as I show you the pre-built agent templates in Dialogflow CX. Hi, I'm Priyanka Vergadia. In this episode of Deconstructing Chatbots, I am going to show you how to decrease your design time by using Dialogflow CX pre-built agent template. Although we're not traveling like we used to, we may be renting cars to get around safely. Let's see how our friends at Alpha Car, a rental company, can easily deploy a booking agent. Imagine you are a manager at Alpha Car and have noticed an uptick in chatbot and email volume. But you have a small number of customer service agents and not a lot of experience deploying a chat agent. That is a perfect scenario for a pre-built agent template. Let's see how to set it up in the console. The first step will be to create a Google Cloud Platform account and a project. If you already have one, don't worry about this step. Then go to the Dialogflow CX console. Click on the project we just created to import the pre-built agent and click Use Pre-built Agents. We see a number of templated agents that we can import. For Alpha Car, let's import the Travel Car Rental Agent. Select the desired location and create. We now have the foundational architecture for our agent. Let's see how the agent currently functions. Best way to do that is to navigate to the Test Agent button and start a conversation. Now that we know how it currently works, let's modify some of the agent's responses to make it customized to Alphacar. Starting with the default welcome intent response on the start page. While we are here, let's also modify the sign off messages at the end. Now let's take a look at our custom entities. Perhaps Alphacar only offers a select few cars. So let's swap out the Mitsubishi Mirage and Nissan Versa with Ford Fusion and Chevy Malibu. We will add some synonyms and name variations too. Now that we've changed these custom entities, let's change the agent option that are provided in the middle of the flow. We are going to click on the Mitsubishi Mirage and the Nissan Versa pages and change the necessary information in the entry dialog. In production, these page options may be fed by dynamic integrations with an inventory CRM, but for the purpose of this demo, we will hard code these options. Now we have a customized flow for Alpha Car. Let's say Alphacar knows they get a number of questions about forms of payment and they want to be able to answer those to contain their users. Let's create a route group with a couple of common questions like, what forms of payments do you accept? And when will my account be debited? To do that, we will go to create a route group. We will name it payment questions and add routes. Then we will create an intent for each of those questions with some training phrases. Once we've added these training phrases and the routes, we save them. We can enter the fulfillment response now as well. For instance, we accept Visa, American Express, and MasterCard, and your account will be debited when you return your car rental. Now let's add that route group to the car option page under add route type inside route groups. Great. Now let's test the agent using the simulator to make sure everything's working as expected. Yay, everything seems to be triggering appropriately. Now let's add this flow as a test case. Test cases allow us to uncover bugs and prevent regression. We can then revisit this flow and others in the test case section, which allows us to rerun all the test cases, import and export, and view the test coverage for transitions and intents. This will help us make sure we're testing every part of the agent. It's also a good idea to look at the validation section to see if there are any recommendations or errors. It seems like it has spotted similar training phrases across multiple intents. 
This can present NLU confusion down the line. So best to resolve that by deleting or modifying selected training phrases. Let's fast forward to being ready to deploy. We're going to want to use versions to move our current development environment into production. A draft flow is updated every time a developer on our team makes a change. As a best practice, we should always test our draft flows before promoting them to production versions, although we can always roll back to previous versions if any problems are discovered. With that, our alpha car agent is now live. All that's left to do is to regularly look at the analytics section to improve the agent by assessing how it's being used in production. All right, so we just created an entire conversational experience to book a rental car in literally five minutes. That's exactly what pre-built agent templates are for. They increase the speed to market. Now it's your turn. Explore a pre-built agent that makes sense for your project and share your experience with me in the comments below.